Hi everyone, welcome back to Honeybee's Hive. I'm Honeybee. So, um, today, I, I just want to talk to you a little bit. I'm at my work table right here, and um, I think I'm going to be trying to put together my little, my little baby girl over here. But, first off, how's everybody been? I do apologize about the... Um, long delay and getting this getting a video out period um i have been out and about so i have some things to show you i think are pretty interesting so i will be getting i don't know if i'll put that in this video or not and maybe i'll do another video but we'll see um i guess before we get started um go ahead and take this time to, to subscribe if you have not already done so um hit that like button don't forget to leave me a comment and share the videos. Um, today, we, we're, we're at this moment right now, we're going to have a little bit of a, a serious conversation, you know? And at the same time, trying to get some things done. <laughs> so, first off, I want to address uh, my absence. <laughs> So as you you guys know, anyone that follows my channel, um, you know that um, I, I suffer from um, mental health illness. And hey, before I go there, we got a lot of new subscribers, guys. We are up to 800 subscribers. Can you believe that? Within, what, five, six months, we are at 800 subscribers. Is that not amazing? So we are reaching out. And we are touching people, guys. We are, we are we're doing it, okay? So thank you for everyone who has been sharing those videos and um, getting the word out. Thank you so very much. And welcome, everybody. Welcome all my new subscribers. I am so happy you're here. Welcome to the Hive. Um, where everyone here is, is welcomed. <laughs> Uh, and I try to uh, feel free to comment, um, share your experiences in the comments. Uh, we love to hear from you. I will be sharing my experiences and 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 how I am dealing with and living with mental health illnesses and the aftermath of um, ongoing child abuse. So go ahead and um, leave me comments share your experiences um our goal is to reach out and and touch as many people as we possibly can and to um work on that goal be on that path of healing together or at least just being being there for one another okay and that brings us to my topic today <laughs> so my absence is well <laughs> that's why so i've been I've been dealing with some things lately and I'm going to talk to you about that. Um, yeah, it's, it, you know, I'm still actually in the middle of it. I'm in the middle of, um, I guess you, one of my episodes. <laughs> so be patient with me. Um, first off, I wanted to let you guys know, update on the, um, regarding my my um my spine so i do have to have surgery um my surgery is scheduled for the 23rd and i will be having a cervical fusion and i'll give you more information about that i am going to take you along um through that journey um with me because it's going to be a long journey um and you're going to be all that i have to get me through this so <laughs> I will be keeping you updated and posted and talking to you on a regular basis. Um, you'll be able to see uh, my healing process. Um, yeah. I, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and we'll talk more about that. But also dealing with that is I've been dealing with some issues with, with work. And um, that's the part that has um, really just 
it has really just affected me because it's not, you know, a lot of things I can deal with. I can deal with, I love my job, FYI. I, I, I don't have a problem with that, but I have a problem with mean people. I have a problem with bullies. I have a problem with um, just, you know, those type of people that mean to do you harm. Those are the type of people that I have a serious problem with. Um, I'm afraid of them. I really am. They, yeah, they, I am. I really am. Because it's just, it's like being traumatized all over again. And um, I just happen to have a manager like that. So I've been dealing with a lot of stuff. Um, ever since I started having this problem, you know, with the pain and everything. And I have been, although I've been sharing this information um, with my manager about what's been going on, it seems that they have taken it to into another direction. So here I am preparing for surgery. And um, I should be thinking about, you know, this surgery, this um, getting everything ready, trying to prepare my, you know, my work life, my personal life, everything um, for the surgery. But instead, it feels like I am under a personal attack from my manager and it is killing me inside. It's kill it is really, really mentally it is killing me it is so hard I, I i i i i kid you not so you haven't heard from me because of that because i've been just trying to gosh just trying to wake up every day and just trying to put on a smile and just trying to go for it, you know? That's what I've been trying to do. But um yesterday, last night I had a chance to talk with my son about what's been going on and um getting it out in the open and everything and that really did help. Um it helped me to be able to move forward in doing some things that I needed to do. Um yeah. So during this whole time, so because my particular situation with my neck and stuff, it was preventing me from being able to sit, stand, and um, and walk. All, I mean, this happened all of a sudden. I went to the emergency room and everything, and they thought, they were like, well, you got bursitis on the hip and stuff like that. And he's like, well, and he says, you got some osteo, what do you say? You got some osteoarthritis or whatever. I don't know what he said he saw. Um, so I'm like, okay, fine. And he said, but hey, go see, go to the, um, the orthopedic. And he, um, gave me the, gave me the information and everything. And so I contacted them because I was in a great deal of pain, guys. And that's when I found out that what was going, what, one of the things that's going on is that, um, guys, it's pretty bad too. It is. It's pretty bad. Um, I have a herniated, I have a herniated, I feel that's called a herniated disc on my C3 and C4 and, um, and six and seven, C6 and seven are, are, protruding but not as much so the c3 and c4 are actually pushing into my spinal cord so um we have to get that we have to get that relieved so they're going to have to go in and um relieve that so they're going to do a fusion um so they're going to go in and replace that replace that um that disc and then they're going to do a, a fusion depending on what type of plate they use will depend on my bone scan that I did today so if I got good bones you know then um, they'll do this it's a 
I think it's a, um, a softer plate or something. But if not, then they'll have to do that harder plate. And that one, I understand, is a little bit more uncomfortable. And that will go across the... Um, across where they across where they go in at so it'd be across the C C3 and C4 um, then so once and they're I think they're gonna do a decompression to, the decompression this was called to but I know this the problem is that um, the other the other disc are all starting to all starting to push in to my spinal cord so you gotta try to figure out why because uh somebody my age this should not be happening to so um That's been pretty hard for me too. Is and I think right now talking about it, I am just now being able to take it all in on oh, what is about to actually happen to me. I'm sorry. I think I've been so weighed down about my um, my manager and dealing with um, the spiteful things that he's been doing that I really hadn't had time to take in any of this. So... real so um after the surgery and everything goes okay. Um, or I think I'm supposed to start rheumatology, something. I forgot what it was called, but just to find out to run tests and to find out um, what's going on. I hit pause for a moment, okay? And I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Look who come to join me. She came in here. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So, um, so yeah, they're going to, after the surgery, I'm going to do, um, I don't know, rheumatology is rheumatol some sort of rheumatology is something or another I'm supposed to do to find out what is going on. Um, because like I said, my um the other the the C the C three and C four is already pushing into the spinal cord and then you got five, six and seven are starting to or is it six and seven? I think it's five and six or maybe six and seven. Um, there's, it is, it is starting to, it is starting to, um, go in that direction. And then you see the other ones and it's like, they're like scattered. It's like some are pushing in, it's like plant pushing in, back pushing in, back pushing in. It doesn't look good. Okay. So from my understanding, that should not be happening. So, um, the goal is to find out why, and I think it was some other procedure that he would have done, which is, I think, replace the whole, um, 
disc, but he's not doing that because of the because of the issue with the other um, disc starting to push in. He didn't think that it would be um, it wouldn't hold up. So that's it's just to avoid having to go back and do another surgery. He's doing the fusion. Um, it's going to be in a section that I shouldn't even notice. Um, so that should not affect my movement or anything like that. Um, the goal is for, um, is for, is to get better, of course, but also not to get worse. So, um, there's no guarantee, of course. So we just have to, you know, way through and see what happens, right? So, my baby was a little concerned about her grand -gram. And she precious. She has got such a sweetheart. <laughs> she love her grand -gram, don't you? I really love my grand -gram. My grand -gram love her too. So, um, I am going to your ear is in my mouth. <laughs> so I am going to, um, I think, is there anything else I should tell you about the surgery? Um, it's on the 23rd in the morning. So I will take you along with me. Um, and I guess you can just follow, follow me, um, throughout the process. Um, I'll probably be a little out of it, but during the first few days after the surgery, so, um, but I will still come on, and, um, so you can see, you know, how I'm doing, let you know I'm okay, I'm not, oh God, I'm not, well, you know, <laughs> I'll be okay, <laughs> um, yeah, what else? I think that is it. Yeah, I think that's it for the surgery that I can think of to tell you. Uh, as far as the job-wise goes, um, I'm still fighting on that. Um, so basically because I was not able to, um, I guess, do some of the duties that I normally do, which I did reach out and let them know, like, this is what's going on. And I, you know, honest at the time, I didn't know what was going on. Um, and then as soon as I did find out how serious is, how serious it was, I reached out and let them know that, but it don't seems to me, I don't know, honestly, I don't, I can't tell you what is on someone's mind or why they seem to want to do the things that they do. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I provided the information, um, you would think that they would work with me, but this guy did not. He was not willing to work with me. Um, I've gone through the proper channels to try to do an, a reasonable accommodation. Um, unfortunately, that department takes forever, okay? And I did get an email saying that they were behind. So that was back last month. So I am still um, waiting on that. In the meantime, I got to go ahead and put in my FMLA paperwork for the surgery, um, my leave request, and then I will do another reasonable combination, a reasonable accommod accommodation. <laughs> but in the meantime, I mean, it's like they're just going through and doing all these disciplinary actions. Well, you didn't do this and you didn't do that and you were asked to. And I'm telling them, okay, I understand, but I don't agree with your disciplinary action because I provided you this information. It's not that I intentionally or deliberately did not do my job. I was not physically able to, and I brought this to your attention. And now I have provided you with the medical documentation, and um, I, I don't know what else you want me to do, okay? So that's why I'm on that. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about is, um, and I'm, that's a whole nother video. I want to talk about the mental health thing and on the job. So that's going to be another conversation too that um, I want to talk to you guys about. Um, not today. I am, think this is it. This was a, we're almost at 20 minutes right now. So 
um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop. Um, what I was, and <laughs> I hate to put her down. She's just so mwah, mwah, my boogie woogie. So I will show you where I'm at with my little baby one here. So, and I have some videos of her. So here she is. I have, uh, I took her makeup off. I know she's got one eye. I'm sorry. I, I can't find her eye, guys. I dropped it, and I don't know what I did with her eye. So, I she has eyelashes now. Let me see. There you go. You can see. So she, there. So she has eyelashes, as you can see. I've done both eyes. And I've done her eyebrows. And I um, did her lips. They're a little softer now than what they were. And I took that, I took that, paint off of her completely and I just redid her so I this the blue eye that she came with so I'm thinking about just putting those back in and I think it looks just I think it's fine I really like her lips what do you think I really like that color on her uh, it's softer it's not as she's got some modeling and so up there I don't know you probably can't see it but yeah she looks she's She's softer, but yet, um, I don't know. I, I, I really like those lips. I like this sculpt. It's very pretty. Um, but yeah, this is it. Her hair. Oh yeah. I, as you can see, I took out, I don't know if you can see, I took out some of the hair in the front to fix the hairline. Oh, you can see right there. And over here too, to even it up because it was not even. And the back too, I even that up. So um, I also <laughs> this was not this was not enough room for me to get in there, guys. So don't be afraid to cut that because I cut mine because it was like only a little bitty, tiny opening for me. So I I cut that open so that I can get in there. Now I can get in there and I can do what I need to do. That's the inside if you ever wanted to know what the inside looked like. So, yeah, I cut this. This was um, this was a very narrow opening. I could not get in there. I cut a lot off, too. It was really easy to cut. I just got my scissors and started cutting. I don't have it. I'll show you how much of it that I cut off. I think I already threw it in the trash. So I don't have that. Um, which other one? Oh, this one here. So she is... Y'all remember this one? So this is the one that um, I pulled all of the stuff out of her face, out of her face, <laughs> out of her head and her body. So this is her face. She had um, some paint missing on her face. So um, I think I did too much because I popped out her eyes and I've been trying to figure out how to get them back in. They were a heck and they were really hard to get out. So, um, now I'm thinking, I don't know if that was a good idea, <laughs> but I'll figure it out. Um, I'm don't, I'm, I was going to paint her, but I think I'm not going to, I think I'm going to hold off on painting her until after I recover. Um, I love this head. Look how, look how life size this is, guys. Let's look at that. Isn't that cool? Look how big that head is. I love this head. So I'm going to repaint her. I've been wanting to do that. Um, her hair has been washed. It has um, oil on it right now and a, a conditioner. So, I just got coconut oil. They got coconut oil. Yeah, coconut oil on it and a conditioner. So, it will stay under here. I will probably take a look at it. It should be fine. Let me see. Yeah, it's already softer. Yeah, you can... Big difference. You can tell it's a big difference in what it was. So, oh yeah, it is soft. So I will take that out, not now, because I'm just going to leave her like she is. For now, I'm going to leave her, because what I did was um, I wrapped some saran wrap around her head, and I just taped it, and I think I did a video, and I'll show it to you. I'll, um, I guess I'll include that on here. So, roll it! Okay, I'm the only one rolling it. So anyway, that's what I've done with her. 
And um, what I want, and her, listen, I have her, her limbs. I have her limbs. What are her limbs? Where are your limbs? I don't know. You had the limbs. Well, what did I do with the limbs? Again, I don't know. You had the limbs. I had the limbs. Uh, I lost your limbs. <laughs> so, oh, I know. <laughs> so her limbs are a different. Oh, I know they're in the kitchen. They're in a bucket. Um, so their limbs are a different color. They're kind of orange, and I'm wondering if they turn orange because of the material that they had in there. Because uh, it was kind of like a really burnt red type of material color. And um, I'm wondering if that might change the color. I don't know. But I'm excited about be, um, painting her face. Not excited about the eye part. So if anybody has any ideas on eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I took these out. They're um, the, uh, you know, the whole thing. Yeah, the blinky eyes. They were not easy to come out. And so, I don't know how I'm gonna get them back in. But it's not like, you know, the other type of eyes that we use for the Reborn dolls. This is a whole different ball game, okay? So, I don't know what to do. So if anybody has any um, experience with um, setting um, blinking eyes, Hey, reach out to me um, if you guys have seen someone else do it. You could know some good videos, um, instructional videos on how to set these eyes. Please um, send them to me in the comments. I love to hear about it. Thank you so much. Um, so other than that, that is it. Um, oh, I do have, well, no. And you probably see her in the background. Yeah, you do. So this little one right here is called La Newborn, and it is with Behringer. It says designed by Behringer. See, and I got her because, well, I thought she was pretty, and um, you see she's real tiny. Isn't she cute? She hasn't been opened. Um, I did get her on Amazon. She was on sale. And it says design, it says La Newborns designed by Behringer. So this one is, oh, how big is she? I don't know how big she is. This is by JC Toys. And you know, I have those other uh, newborns, La Newborns over there. When the, the more, um, when they were called Behringer. So, I mean, not Burgies, when they were called Burgies, I believe this was name of it. So, anyway, what I was, I guess we can go in here and look at it. You guys want to take a look at her? Let's pull it out and take a look at her. Okay, so here she is. And, um, she's softer than the other ones. Her limbs move. So her limbs do move. So she's pretty brown eyes. She's got a pacifier thingy up here. Is she gender neutral? Okay, so she has no sex. So she's just gender neutral. So she technically, she could be a boy. Because you know, the other ones, they they come, they let, they come um, gender specific. So that's neat. I was wondering about that, but I guess not. So it's a girl, but it's not gender, it's not gender specific. So... You can get this one, and it, you can actually change it to be a boy or a girl. Only thing that matters is what color of clothing that they have on. And actually, what color of clothing doesn't really matter, right? So, um, yeah, this is a gender neutral baby. She's very pretty eyes. Um, I think she's very pretty. I don't know. I might. Let me see if I can get her out of this little I just got like a little rubber band thingy 
Well, yeah, I think I can. Since you can see her better. Why are you grumbling? Okay, so here she is. This is actually kind of, she's cute. Oh, look, that's a little tiny. This is a little tiny, um, I can get it in there. Who goes in there? Oh. Yeah. There's some elbow grease in there. Oh my goodness. Does it go in there? I don't know. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe it don't. Okay, a little bit. There she goes. So here she is. Isn't she cute? She is tiny, as you can see. Good little booty. So let's see. She, she like I said, she is gender neutral. I don't know, maybe a, 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 um, a preemie, a preemie diaper might fit her if you want to put a diaper on her. No smell, doesn't smell like anything. She's super cute though. She wears like that. Aren't you cute? Ears. <laughs> Take the cutie bull. Look at them fat cheeks. Look at them fat cheeks. Aww. And she's got a bottle too. Um, I don't know what that is in there. I know the um the older ones come with like the band, the um hospital bands. So, it looks like these don't. I don't know. Maybe the bigger ones do. They got some more expensive ones. Um, I don't know. I, got, I grabbed this one on sale. So, that is actually all that I have for you guys. Um, just want to give you an update on what's been going on. Um, I hope you... Oh, she got a belly button. Look. Belly, belly button. Belly button. She is cute, though. She is flipping adorable, guys. <laughs> I kind of like this little one. Huh. She's cute. I'm keeping her. She might go on my car or something. I don't know. She might be going to the hospital with me. She's so cute. You want to go to the hospital with me? Huh. Look at those pretty <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Oh god, she's a cute. Sorry about that. So I guess that's my clue to say goodbye. So thank you guys for watching. Um <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Stay stay tuned for more videos. Um we still gotta get the girls out of there. Um, their Halloween outfits. Oh, oh my God. I do got some more videos. So I have a princess dress haul to show, to share with you guys. They finally came. Mm -hmm. I also went shopping, um, at thrift store. So I have some amazing, um, holiday dresses to share with you guys. So stay tuned for those videos. I love you. Toodles. Peace.